The Uganda Nurses and Midwives Union has called for fair treatment of nurses and midwives in the country by responding to the poor working conditions. The union president, Justice Chiro, laments at how nurses have upgraded their credentials but are still underemployed. PPEs are not there at all. If they are there, one like this I'm wearing on can be used for, for, for five days and others wash. Yet this one is not washable. It is not reusable. So that is another challenge which we have. No promotion. There's no promotion among. They have read books, but they are still earning the money of certificate. So this calls the government to do restructuring as soon as possible to accommodate the nurses who have, who have, who have, who have gone to school. Health workers have risked their lives during this period of COVID-19 because sometimes they work in risky situations or even in remote areas. about risk allowance. Every nurse, every medic is at risk. It is not only those who are in the COVID centers. We are all at risk right from the Ascari there up to the world. We are saying we need our risk allowance. Those are the agendas we can vote. Lastly is that we also agree on the issues of housing. We told the government that if you don't house us, give us 300,000 for rent. Because the, the first month, the, the salary you get, it is for school fees, it is for everything, medical, it is for so many things. You find that the nurse goes without any money. And the people are chasing us from the houses yes. because of rent. The union says many health workers suffer chronic diseases and they do not have enough money for treatment. Nurses and midwives in West Nile are not covered by health insurance. The ICEA is bringing up to cover for the members of the union is uh, life insurance in terms of death in service. There we are talking about both natural and accidental causes to death, the temporary total disability, that is the disability that is total and irrevocable, the critical illness diseases as you might mention of cancer, kidney failure, heart attack, liver dysfunction, and also the funeral management expenses. To protect nurses and midwives in Uganda against the novel coronavirus, Uganda Nurses and Midwives Union has started donating personal protective equipment which includes masks and sanitizers. The union has already distributed the PPs in different regions of the country, including West Nile. Abdul Nasir Lubama, UBS News.